you ever wondered? Hello everyone. Welcome back to Inquisitive Creation. My name is Gilo and I will be your trusted companion to explain things you ever wondered about but does not exactly know what they are. Today, we're diving into the fascinating world of the aging brain. Ever wondered what changes your brain goes through as you hit your 40s, 50s, 60s, and beyond? Whether it's memory, focus, or emotional resilience, aging brings both challenges and surprising strengths. Stay tuned as we explore how to keep your mind sharp at every stage of life. Most of us don't expect to maintain wrinkle-free skin from our 20s or run a mile at our high school pace, but we often assume our memory and cognitive abilities will stay the same or close to it as we approach midlife and beyond. However, our brains, like other organs such as the heart, lungs, and skin, undergo age-related changes. These changes are a natural part of life. While declines in memory and cognitive processing speed can be normal aspects of brain aging, they can also indicate neurological conditions like dementia or Alzheimer's disease. Distinguishing between normal aging and the early signs of such diseases can be challenging, even for doctors, especially when the changes are gradual and subtle. In other words, the line between normal forgetting and cause for concern forgetting can be difficult to define. Understanding how your brain typically changes throughout your lifespan can help clarify which changes in brain function may be important to discuss with your doctor or neurologist. In the early years of life, the brain develops at an astonishing pace, growing about 1% per day during the first three months. By the time a baby reaches one year, their brain is 64% larger than at birth, and by age five, it has reached roughly 90% of its adult size. As we move into our 30s and 40s, the brain starts to shrink, with this shrinkage rate accelerating around age 60 and beyond. Key areas like the frontal lobe and hippocampus, which are crucial for cognitive functions, experience more shrinkage than other regions. Additionally, communication between neurons becomes less efficient, blood flow decreases, and inflammation increases. These changes can be linked to physical or health issues commonly associated with aging, such as heart disease and diabetes. Even in healthy older adults without any form of cognitive impairment or dementia, these brain changes can impact mental function. However, there is also compelling evidence that the brain retains the ability to change and adapt as we age, and it can even improve in certain key areas, an encouraging and fascinating aspect of brain aging. The changes that typically come with aging can be thought of as a reduction in efficiencies. This includes areas of thinking that involve quick processing, juggling multiple pieces of information simultaneously, and remembering new information that lacks inherent structure or meaning. These tasks are quite complex, requiring extensive coordination between different parts of the brain and various neural networks. Research suggests that very gradual declines in these areas can begin as early as a person's 30s, though these changes often go unnoticed for a few more decades. By the time you do start to notice, you might feel a bit less sharp, or tasks that once felt easy and routine may start to require more effort. Another common experience with aging is the difficulty in mastering new technology. It's not unusual for older adults to express frustration saying things like, I just got a new phone and I have no idea how to work it. Mental math can also become more challenging. Tasks like estimating the cost of groceries or calculating a tip may take a bit longer than they used to. Then there's something scientists refer to as the middle-aged movie review. It's when someone says, we really liked that movie we saw last week, you know. The one with what's her name and that other guy from that show we used to watch. This is a common experience, often involving word finding difficulties and memory lapses. Many people also refer to this as a tip of the tongue experience. You can't quite recall the information at the moment, but it might pop into your head 20 minutes later or even days later. This is more about a failure of word retrieval than a loss of memory. The information is still stored in your brain, but it's harder to efficiently access that one specific piece when you need it. 
Walking into a room and forgetting why you went in there is a classic example of normal brain aging. It's something that happens regularly to older adults and many people can relate to it. Like the other changes we've discussed, this can be frustrating, but it's likely a normal part of aging rather than a sign of cognitive problems. However, if these incidents start happening very frequently or begin interfering with your ability to carry out daily activities, that's when it becomes a cause for concern. The tricky part is that what's normal for one person might be a sign of cognitive issues in another. Recognizing the difference can be challenging, but it's crucial for understanding whether further evaluation is needed. Your ability to access information that's been stored in your brain for a long time may actually improve with age. A great example of this is trivia. You might find that older family members can recall answers to trivia questions from 40 years ago, facts they didn't even realize they still knew. This taps into the brain's long-term storage of knowledge. Similarly, your ability to do word games and crossword puzzles may remain steady or even improve over time. While you might notice a slight decline in finding the right word immediately, your vocabulary tends to continue expanding as you age. In fact, scientists believe that vocabulary can keep increasing even into our 80s. This highlights how certain cognitive abilities can remain robust or even enhance with age. There's evidence suggesting that older adults, particularly those aged 60 and above, often report better emotional well-being compared to those in midlife or even younger adults. Emotional well-being refers to a state of good mental health and the ability to remain stable and resilient even in the face of challenging situations. For many older adults, their perspective shifts toward prioritizing what truly matters to them. This often leads to improved emotional functioning, which likely stems from a wealth of life experience and the wisdom gained over the years. With this increased understanding, they are better equipped to cope with life's challenges, allowing them to navigate situations with a greater sense of calm and clarity. Researchers are studying superagers, adults over the age of 80 who have memory abilities comparable to those of people 20 to 30 years younger. The primary goal of this research is to identify factors that could help others maximize their health span and potentially avoid Alzheimer's disease. Part of this research involves superagers donating their brains for study after they pass away. When these brains are examined under a microscope, researchers have found that certain areas of the brain are larger and have maintained their thickness. Additionally, the health of their neurons is better than what one would typically expect at their age. When researchers were asked what a person can do to become a superager, they noted that while it's an admirable goal, they have not yet identified clear modifiable factors that guarantee this level of memory ability. However, one anecdotal observation stands out. Many superagers have active social connections. They tend to be engaged in various activities or social gatherings that provide them with enjoyment, social interaction, and intellectual stimulation. This suggests that staying socially and mentally active may play a role in maintaining cognitive health as we age. Many of the recommendations for improving brain health are closely aligned with those for overall body and heart health. This includes staying physically active by moving more and sitting less, eating a nutrient-dense diet, and avoiding heavy alcohol use or other harmful substances. In addition to these lifestyle choices, staying engaged in life, learning new things, and regularly challenging yourself mentally are all excellent practices for maintaining and enhancing brain health. Finally, forgetting why you walked into a room or struggling to recall the title of a movie can be typical signs of brain aging. However, distinguishing between normal forgetfulness and potential causes for concern can be challenging. While the brain can start to shrink as early as our 30s, certain cognitive skills like long-term memory and vocabulary may actually improve with age. Despite these natural changes, it's important to consult with your healthcare provider if you notice frequent or troubling memory lapses. There you have it. Thanks for joining us as we explored how your brain changes with age and what to watch for. If you found this video helpful, please give it a thumbs up, subscribe to our channel, and hit the bell icon. 
so you never miss an update. Stay tuned for more insights into brain health and aging. Until next time, this is your friend Gilo signing off from Inquisitive Creation. Thanks so much for watching.